Biologist here at the California Academy of Sciences. And today we're in our Rainforest of the World exhibit with our friend the Panther Chameleon. We're actually in our, rain, our uh, Madagascar gallery, so we have a lot of animals here from Madagascar that are found nowhere else in the world like our friend the Panther Chameleon. Um, I just wanted to take the time to give you guys an up-close look at this guy um, and show you some of his adaptations for life in the trees. Um, first of all, if you take a look at his feet, they're basically uh, three toes on one side and two toes on the other, so it gives him a, a pincher-like grip with little claws at the end. It's very useful for climbing in the trees. He also has this prehensile tail, which basically means he's able to grab onto things with it. So again, very good for holding onto branches and moving through the trees. If you take a look at his eyes, they are actually independent of one another. So he's able to move one eye forward and one eye back, or any which direction he wants to. He's doing it right now. This basically gives him a 360 degree view of the world, which is very useful for both finding prey and evading predators. And I'm sure um, some of our parents out there could understand its usefulness if we were to have that adaptation. <laughs> um, he also has a really long tongue. His tongue is actually about the length of his body. So when he's ready to eat, he sees his prey item. He, take, he locks both eyes on it and he shoots that tongue out. And in a minute, you'll see exactly how he eats. Another adaptation is that they can actually change color. And a popular mis misconception is that they change color to match their environment. And while they are kind of cryptic and camouflaged as they are, it's not it's a misconception that they change color to match their environment. They actually change color based on their mood and also to communicate with one another. Um, you'll notice that they don't have any ear openings like other lizards, and so all of their communication is visual and tactile. Another adaptation that these guys have is to um, basically ward off predators, and what they'll do, and he's kind of doing right here, is puffing up and turning really bright colors. And if he feels really threatened, he'll open his mouth, and in his, inside his mouth is really bright yellow. And that might um, surprise the predator and buy him enough time to escape.